This is Colin from Ohio who asks, is Andy Reid on your Mount Rushmore of coaches? Here we go again with the Eagles stuff and the Kansas City stuff. You know, it's funny about Andy Reid. He was one Eagles coach I didn't fear or hate. How, how can you hate Andy Reid? I like him. Big, jovial Santa Claus of a man. I don't know. For all those years, re remember, he was the head coach of the Philadelphia Eagles for 14 years. And I can't even remember him because I was never threatened by him. They did make it to one Super Bowl, and they got Brady. It was Donovan McNabb. But they got Brady. It really wasn't close. But for 14 seasons, Andy was pretty good. He was 130, 93, and 1. So he won 130 games, lost 93, tied 1. Not bad. Postseason, 10 and 9. I remember one year, Tony Romo beat Donovan McNabb and Andy Reid the final regular season game, which forced a home playoff game in Dallas and beat them again. I don't know. I just never feared Andy because I always thought his teams were soft. A lot of offensive flair, but he loved his players to a fault, and that's why he got fired. They just thought it was a country club. They fired him because it was too easy for those Eagles. And would you believe he's now been the Kansas City Chiefs head coach for 10 years? It's, it seems like three, four, but it's 10 years. So because of that veritable drought as the Eagles head coach for 14 years, I, I'm sorry, he's disqualified from Mount Rushmore. So very quickly, my late great friend Bill Walsh, very close to him, used to speak to his classes at the Stanford Business School. He's the greatest coach ever to me as a combination offensive genius and player evaluator. Could he not pick players? Oh, God. He's the one who found Joe Montana in the third round. He's number one. I'll go with Vince Lombardi for all of his dominance in Green Bay. Inflicted upon my Cowboys is number two. Tom Landry has to be on my Mount Rushmore. God's coach, as I called him. Just look at the numbers. Look at the record. Look at the playoff appearances. Look at the, the Super Bowls. And then it's, it's a close call for me at number four on my Rushmore. Most people would say Belichick's probably number one. He's a Brady product. You, you, you see he's been exposed the last two years, and it's only going to get worse. Tom Brady product. Just remember, Bill Belichick, five years the head coach in Cleveland, was 36 and 44 in Cleveland as the head coach. Then he comes to Foxborough, and without Brady the first year, he went 5 and 11. Then without Brady the first two games of the second year, he lost both the games. Bill Belichick, before Tom Brady fell out of the sixth round out of heaven into his lap, was 41 and 57 as a head coach. 41 and 57 was Bill Belichick. Brady made him. I used to say it was 75% Brady, 25% Belichick. I, it's 90-10. Bill was a very good defensive coordinator. And he rode Brady's coattails to six Super Bowls. I, I'm sorry. I got to go with number four on my Rushmore, Chuck Noll. Maybe you know him, maybe you don't. Maybe it's been so long ago you've forgotten. But all his Pittsburgh Steelers teams did, featuring our man Terry Bradshaw at quarterback, was go four and zero in Super Bowls. Four and oh was Chuck Noll. 16 and eight in playoff games was Chuck Noll. He coached only one team all the way through from 1969 to 1991. Chuck Noll was the head coach of the Pittsburgh Steelers. That is Rushmore. It all kicks off Super Bowl Sunday at 1 p.m. Eastern on Fox. I hope you enjoyed that video. You ready for more? Make sure you click that subscribe button for all the exclusive content from the Skip Bayless Show. And don't forget, to check out the full episode of the show wherever you get your podcasts by clicking the link in the description.